Hello and welcome to your Daily Energy Report. I'm Ben Lack. President Barack Obama has ordered the United States government to execute at least $2 billion of energy efficiency upgrades over the next two months. The directive is part of President Obama's Better Buildings Initiative, which sets to lower energy use in commercial buildings by 20% by 2020. The savings in energy costs are expected to reach $40 billion per year, and some early estimates show that more than 100,000 jobs will be created from the new program. Sixty private companies, hospitals, cities, states, and colleges and universities have pledged an additional $2 billion in energy efficiency retrofits to 1.6 billion square feet of property. Companies who are joining the president on this initiative include General Electric, Alcoa, the Intercontinental Hotels Group, and the City of Sacramento, California. First Reserve Corporation and Reno Valley Energy have formed a joint venture called Reno Valley Reserve to own and operate wind projects in Europe and North America. First Reserve will invest $150 million into the joint venture, which will manage the new company's existing generating capacity and the promotion of new wind projects. Reno Valley's energy chairman, Juan Domingo Ortega, has been named the chair of the joint venture. Reno Valley Reserve will initially comprise Reno Valley Energy's 259 megawatts of operating wind assets in Spain and Hungary, and its wind pipeline in Canada, Romania, and Spain, with total capacity of more than 300 megawatts. And finally, Princeton Power Systems will integrate its t grid teed inverters as a power resource for the PJM regulation market. The inverters, in conjunction with lead carbon and lithium iron phosphate batteries, will participate in two locations as 100 kW resources to enhance reliability and increase the efficiency of the grid. The inverters are a unique aspect of the system as they are capable of working with several types of batteries as well as multiple communication options, including the DNP3 protocol used by PJM. While the recent FERC regulation allows for a minimum of 100 kW, the inverters can be configured for anywhere as much as 1 megawatt or more. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching.